the winner to take on France. Stannard gets us underway, and that's going to need a hop to the right for the Aussies, and it does so. Parahy swoops on it. Foley goes to Clark. Hutchison is wide. The bounce pass will sit up. He had to check his run and will now take it into contact. Great position early for the Aussies. McCutcheon. McCutcheon loves to go direct. Race takes a couple of defenders to stop him too. Stannard. Stannard, some nifty footwork. Stannard lays it on the platter for his captain. I think he's caught the touch line. Well, I thought Stannard could have gone all the way himself. He decided to be unselfish and give it to the, his captain. Let's have a listen in. review to see where he's grounded the ball before he's in touch. Thank you. RVR, please. I felt live, KT, that he may have had his right leg in a touch before getting it down. Let's yeah, I'm with, a look. I'm with you, Sean. I thought he had touched it, Eddie. No way! Oh, wow. He's managed to lift his heels, it looks like. We on the slide in. They seem so to bounce up here. Ball. I think he's got that. I'd give that. Would you? I'll tell you what. Look at him here. He's got his feet up. The ball's... Yeah, oh, no. I don't think he got it down, did he? No try. No try. The call from Richard Stop. Kelly after using the RVR. A referee video reviewer. System and a friend unhappy. Two minutes. Understandably, yeah, but a good start from the Aussies asking some questions of this Fijian team. Verma Lua is scrappy at line out time, and Australia pile in here. Across the park to Clark, again to Hutchison. Hutchison drops by from the line. Foley digs it out. Stannard, Parahi in the midfield. Parahi trying to spin through the defence. Good clean out from Stannard. They're well covered on this short side. McCutcheon! McCutcheon! Power! He gets the first try in this cup quarterfinal. And they deserve it to Australia. They will compose this whole set on attack. They spread it to the left-hand side. Give Hutchinson on one-on-one. -on -one. Jesse Parahi, I think he has been a welcome addition. This is Australian setup because you know what you're going to get. Get hard, tough yards up the middle of the park. And what does that do? Open up holes for the big man on the side, Pat McCutcheon. Two tries in the exact same part of the field yesterday against England. He's on the score sheet here against Fiji. And there is some cattle to come off the bench too. Nick Cummins, the honey badger with the head taped up. Sam Myers too adds some real starch when he is on the field. This time round, the ball's going to check and not go the 10. Fiji will restart by the free kick. Ravavo. Their first touch of the ball, really. Fiji, and they do well there to hang on to it. Far side they go. And it's come loose out of the hands of Tuisova. Clark dancing at the line, trying to get through the tackle of Revolvo. Does so, but catching him was Katonimbao. Hutchison, Stannard, Parahi. Jenkins a little wider. Ops to go himself, Parahi. Hutchison. Pushes it out of the back. Advantage. We're playing a penalty Diving advantage the here. Feet. Diving off the feet, the call. McCutcheon. Straightening his foley. Dominating Vanna possession Jonah. for the moment. The Aussies, Parahi. Stannard has Hutchison wider. Hutchison, the whiz kid, goes in. Australia land two early shots on the Fijians. Well, any team is vulnerable when they don't have the ball, and Fiji are getting dominated at the moment. You can see here, because of this kid, he's going in the middle of the park, drawing them in. They're not making their tackles. They're going to deck him right there. That's where well, Australia are getting the overlap. Stannard realises what the situation is, and this kid, he has to be up a nomination for Rookie of the Year. Henry Hutchinson has been outstanding in 2016. Brilliant. He's... The best way to describe his introduction to the world of sevens. James Stannard, the man taking a shot at goal, suggesting a couple of weeks back that not only will Henry star in sevens, but potentially long-term aware of Wallaby gold as well. 
Well, that's the beauty of the sevens format, isn't it? And why Australia and New Zealand the likes they like to use these programs to get guys like that opportunities both in the 15 and 7 side game. Para he swoops, brings it in for the Aussies. The crowd's gone silent, unsure as to what's going on. They love to get behind the Fijians. They ride this shot. That's a terrific tackle from Tua Sova looking to lift his side into this one. They pile in. A good result there for the Fijians. And they'll tap and go again. They're off the mark. Well, they needed something, didn't they? The Fijians, they've had no ball, and it comes there with a nice defensive lead read by Tui Sova. Outstanding. Here they come now, the Fijians. And this big unit has been causing dramas all weekend for defensive lines. Nakarawa, the pickup is sublime from Revolvo. Here come Fiji, looking to work their way back into it, and so nonchalant is Nakarawa. He got him rolling, and he wrapped it up. Well, you knew it was always going to come, wasn't it? And that's the reply from the Fijians. They just make it look so easy. Come from the defensive pressure only moments earlier, but the big man, the number five, the long stride, palms off Ed Jenkins, but Jenkins comes back, takes the legs out. Look at him, he gets off the deck, does the big man, realises the urgency of the situation as captain gives him the last pass. That is all about the want right there, and he wanted it more. Fiji fans breathe a little easier for the moment. They were under the pump for the first five minutes of this game. We're down by 10 and now find themselves down by five. Hasn't he made an impressive return of the World of Sevens? Nakarawa, most definitely. And also in tandem with Tui Soba. Great for Ben Ryan to be able to call on those two guys into the oh, sorry. Come on. Sevens set up. But now an important kick for both teams. Australia need this one. Fiji also. Beautifully taken by Hutchison, getting good support there from Clark. Parahi. Stannard to Foley, no way through there. Big tackle. Now they scrap hard, the Fijians. Parahi has been a powerhouse for his side in this first half. McCutcheon, he scored the opening try. Parahi. Again, rumbling it forward. Jenkins out his way to the clean out. But they do well there. The Aussies to retain possession. Over the top, the ball goes from Foley. And this is promising for Australia. Hutchison. Hutchison beats one, two. Clark goes in for the clean out. McCutcheon. Stannard wide. And they're playing with a penalty advantage now, Australia as well. Jenkins steering back against the traffic and releases Clark. They won't get Cam Clark, nor will they get Hutchison. Australia have three tries to the Fijians, one. Again, being able to expose Fiji on the edge. Ed Jenkins finally gets his hands on the ball, causes some mismatches, and finally they fit. see where the numbers are. Clark unselfishly gives it to Hutchison for his double. What was Cam Clark doing? He was practically over the try line and in turn throws it five metres to the left to make the conversion attempt that much trickier for James Stannard from the left hand touch line. He's hit it fairly well, but it is away to the left. So at half time, another underdog is up in the cup quarterfinals. Australia are clear by 10. Okay, listen to me, yeah, exactly right, I mean, absolutely nothing. Defensively, don't engage them boys, sit back, we're just a little bit jumpy with that, so let them come at you, let's nominate who's on footy, let's get the second man in there, and we really don't look to dominate that area there. If we go wide, which we are, that's looking really nice, like I was spreading G1, G2 are both on, okay? They're looking really flag for the park, okay? So they're looking to shut us down back in the park, look to go back to one. So our kickoff, Marina Polo, Kerry Kerry, eh? don't kick to their pod. We have the other guy there, we swap them around. Jesse will move to the other side and then we kick away from the pod. Set. And then we just keep going and play the same game. 
the game will come to us. We don't have to chase it now, okay? I'm relaxed on the touchline because I have confidence in you. So have confidence in yourself. Go forward, take them on, and can we make that do and then do a tackle? Wendy Friend, the Australian coach, just speaking about the defensive work and one player actually going on the ball, stopping the offloads, the second man, and then taking the legs out of the Fijians. For Ben Ryan, just talking about keeping their composure, don't try and chase the game, don't be too overawed by the situation. That's what I've been so impressed with the Fijians this year, Shawnee. Saw some shots there of Jesse Parahi back in the Australian green and gold after a very brief stint in the NRL. So he's enjoyed a long pre-season with the West Tigers down in Sydney and that conditioning has him ready to make a fairly seamless transition back into the world of sevens. He's going to need to stand tall again in his second half if his side are to progress. Verimalua slaps it back and it's going to fall right into the arms of Foley who goes to Hutchison. Somehow it cannons back to Fiji, but Richard Kelly, Carlton Anna, has found a knock-on against the Fijians. Oh, and you can see Henry Hutchinson could just feel till he saw that iron up his ribs. I'd drop that ball too. What a great place to attack from. Midfield scrum, stand out right in behind. If he gets a clean heel, he'll go to the right-hand side. That's a natural overlap. Fine. Set. Good territory again for the Aussies. Hutchison looking to get on the outside of his opposite Tuisova. Can't do so. Sharp work at the breakdown from Tuisova and Tuai to force the penalty. To Tony Bow. That's slick. That is super slick from Domalilai. Domalilai looking to get away from Jenkins. Great work from the Aussie skipper. He gets back to shut down that threat. That is a big chase from behind from Ed Jenkins. This is the best game he's had all weekend long, I think. I tell you what, it takes a lot to be able to do this. Dorma Lala in full stride, but look at Ed Jenkins just showing desperation. Speaking to Andy Friend this morning at the team hotel, just trying to get a gauge Fine. from him Fine. as to why his side were so lethargic yesterday. They were wiped, they were wiped by Fine. South Africa in their last game yesterday. Had no idea. So just sometimes that's what happens, you know. And now they are clear by 10 with five to go against Fiji. It's a strange game. Well, tell you what's happening at the moment. Australia are dominating position. Passes 40. BG5. Usually it's the other way around. That's what it has been the first two days of this competition. Stannard. Clark on the angle. Does well to release on the ground to buy some time. It's going to come back for his side. Myers onto the park for Australia as well. Foley. Good work from Stannard to clear the defender at the ruck. McCutcheon gobbled up there by Maya Palevu, and now they counter ruck beautifully. The Fijians, this better, this much better for the Fijians. Oh, how good is this guy, Jasta Veramalua? He has been one of the best players on the HSBC 7 series. In 2015-16, just a very Malua, he gets it done on defense, he gets it done in the air at kickoff, and he gets it done on the tack, picks it up from the ruck. Look at him carry the ball, the long strides, puts the defense in two minds, finally gets the mismatch on Stannard. Jeez, isn't it great to have a guy like that in your team? Conversion's all good also. 15-12, Fiji get the first... The first try of the second half. They're yeah, taking him out in the air. That is illegal. Now he hasn't been spoken to here 
Maya Salevi only just got onto the field. That is dangerous play, but Australia, I'm sure, will just take it to the set piece, slow it down, wind down the clock. They can't shut up shop here. Still a long time to go, Shawnee. Three and a half minutes against Fiji in a cup quarter final is an eternity. And they found themselves in this position before on a number of occasions. The Aussies against Fiji, most recently in Singapore, where they lost. They found a way to lose rather than close that one out. Fiji scored twice in 90 seconds to snatch a victory from the Aussies. No doubt that will be in the back of the Australians' mind here in France. The Paris 7th has delivered massively. Days one and two and day three has been quite incredible so far. Kingston. Oh, that's easy for Talina to make that shot. Yeah, no tackle release here. Once again, just slow the play down. Then I say, should we go for goal? I don't think that's going to be enough. You've got to get five or seven, so go to the corner. Or do they tap, kick, set up one of their plays? Looks like they're going to go to the line. I think that's the right call too, Shawnee, for mine. Jesus, crowd's gone deathly silent, though. We're so used to them being up and behind the feet jeans. I think they're stunned, Carl Tanana, at the fact that the pre-tournament favourites are down by three with... Two minutes 30 to run. I think they thought this would be a blowout. Australia hot on attack. Stannard brought down five from the line. Myers trying to rumble his way over the top of Ravolvo. Kingston to Stannard. Misses the mark. Killingworth has to fight for the deck. Balls out place. The ball's come loose for the Fijians. And this is going to be trouble for the Aussies. Viri Viri is super fast. He's off and running. Viri Viri. That is a huge play from the Fijians. You're right, Shawnee. It is very, very big. But I think Australia are unlucky. There was a high tackle that wasn't called. That ball was not out from the ruck. You can see that that's still under the leg. That is from the side, so you can choose your choice, pick, have a choice. But in the end, you've got to play to the whistle. Ed Jenkins can't do anything about that, but that is a heartbreaker for Australia. Just to explain to us again, back at that breakdown, the ball needs to be clear of the hindmost feet for it to be out. Most definitely, and that was not out. Conversion attempt hits the right hand upright. Here it is here. And he's got his foot back in behind that is Tom Kingston. They're coming from the side, not from directly behind. And then the speed belt. Any VGN gets in the open space, it's going to be tough to pull back. Australia's still in this one. Need this kickoff though. Nick Cummins onto the field. Can the honey badger spark the Australians to an unlikely victory? I'll tell you what Nick might be best doing, Not just passing that ball to one of the men who played more than two tournaments this year. He's played good though this tournament when he has been injected, and that is a great kick by Stannard. Now this is the opportunity that they need. Cummins will go into centre, Stannard in the first five. Will they give it to the Wallaby? I wouldn't like mine let him have a one-on-one -on -one with Talinga. Isn't that amazing? Passes completed. Australia's 53 to the Fijians' five. The full time hooter is gone. Myers slaps it back. It's going to fall for Fiji. Fiji sneak through. They have been pushed all the way by a brave Australian side. But on this occasion, BG get home by just two points.